Hello, this is Brian, Solutions Architect with Megaport. During the next few minutes, we will be turning up private connectivity from our port to IBM DirectLink. I'll be demonstrating both in the Megaport portal and the IBM Cloud Management Console. The most common reasons we're seeing customers establish pri private connectivity to the IBM Cloud are to increase throughput capabilities, optimize application performance, and improve security. So let's jump right in. Um, you can see here, I'm in the Megaport portal right now, and we're gonna create a connection from this port we have in the Kansas City area to our cloud instance in US South, and I'm gonna connect through uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh, there's a couple of ways I can uh, build this connection. You can see we have some of these shortcut tiles uh, down here where I could just click on IBM Cloud. Um, I could also type their name in here, uh, IBM, to uh, do a filter. If I'm looking for a provider, um, I'm going to use the connection button today. Add connection, and we'll click on Cloud. And you'll see IBM Cloud here on the screen. And I'm going to connect to the Dallas um, IBM Direct Link. Uh, port two here and click next. I'm going to name my connection. And set a bandwidth on it, 100 meg. And I could let uh, Megaport auto assign the VLAN or I could assign a VLAN myself. So I'll assign VLAN 200. And now I'm going to need a little bit of information here. So the IBM account ID, I will show you real quick where to get that. So if you go over to your IBM um, Cloud Management Console and you click on uh, Manage Account, and you'll see Account Settings right here, and you can pull your ID right here. So I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. Come back into the Megaport portal and paste that in. Now, um, the customer AS, this will be the AS number for whatever your endpoint is for the peer. So it might be a, a, a firewall, a layer three switch or a router or something like that. I'm gonna assign a private AS number for that. Now you can uh, pick your slash 30 for the WAN interface here, or you could have a slash 30 be assigned to you. So I'm just gonna have it auto assign. And uh, we'll see a, a summary page here, add VXC. And you'll see up to the top left, your configuration is saved up here. I'm going to go ahead and click order. The order will be uh, validated. Um, and once it's validated, we can order that. Now, this is the last step in the Megaport portal. Um, after this is done deploying, I'm going to go over to the IBM uh, cloud management console and complete the configuration over there. We get a prompt here to, uh, you can click the button here that'll launch the, the IBM portal for you. Um, I'm gonna click not now because I already have it open. And we'll hop over here. Now up in the top left is a menu bar. We'll click on that. And you'll see interconnectivity is one of your options here and we'll go to direct link. Now, if you have multiple direct links like I do, um, you will see a new one hopefully pop in here and you'll see it right there at the bottom with the bell by it. That means there's some action required. So this is our new one. We set up this 100 meg connection. And so we'll go ahead and click on that. Um, you'll notice here that we have uh, IBM uh, Cloud Direct Link 2.0 Dallas Port 2, which is what we selected the Megaport portal. And we'll go ahead and configure this connection um, in, you just kind of walk through the prompts here on the IBM side, but we'll start out by configuring the resource group. And you'll notice you'll have a couple of routing options. If you're just routing uh, to resources in uh, the local region, you can use the local routing. If you're trying to use the IBM uh, backbone to connect to another region, you'll need to use global routes. Um, and then you'll just walk through, make sure the configuration looks good. You have a couple of options for billing, either metered or unlimited. Uh, the IP addresses you can see here were auto assigned. So this is your slash 30 for the interface uh, connecting to IBM. And the um, AS numbers, you'll need to set up that BGP peer. Everything else looks good. So I'm going to hit next. 
And you'll get a couple of options, AS pre-pending and uh, route filtering that you can do for some traffic engineering if you need to. And I'm gonna just go through the default options here. And when I get to the last screen here, just reviewing my options and I will create the direct link connection. Now this is pretty much it. So the layer two is established. I'm ready to set up my uh, IP addresses um, and get the BGP peer up and running. So last thing I'll leave you with is the Megaport documentation. If you need more information or a step-by-step -step guide on how to turn up uh, connections to IBM Direct Link, you can go to docs.megaport.com, click on cloud connectivity, click on port, and you will see IBM Direct Link right here. And this will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for stopping by and learning how easy it is to connect to IBM directly.